What's up guys, welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, Global just got a new data download a few hours ago, and honestly, most of it was to be expected, right? Like we saw it coming, but there were a couple of pretty interesting things that we couldn't really have predicted, specifically the April Fool stuff for this year, which looks pretty freaking awesome, in my opinion. So of course, as always, we are gonna check out everything together in this video. And uh, with all that said, let's jump right into it. Now, first things first, I wanna give a big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all the assets from this data download. Make sure to hit him up with a follow if you haven't already done so. And now, let's scroll down to the very bottom of the page here and check everything out. As you guys can see, there was quite a bit of stuff that was added through the data download, but uh, most of it can be broken down to, you know, stuff related to the upcoming story event or the Dual Tokan Fest with PyCon and Janemba. So the first thing we have here are some new story event backgrounds um, from the Fusion Reborn movie, which obviously is the theme of the celebration as well as the Dual Tokan Fest. So there you go. And we also have some other story assets here. This is the aura, I'm assuming for Super Gogeta, which looks pretty awesome. Yo, I'll, I might grab that for a future thumbnail, because I like how that looks. But anyways, yeah, that's the Gogeta aura from the story event once again. And uh, this is the kid that transforms into Janemba or becomes corrupted and becomes Janemba. Spoilers, by the way, for anybody that didn't watch the movie. I mean, I'm assuming that if you're watching this video, you're probably a big Dragon Ball fan, so you've probably at least seen the original Gogeta movie and most of the other Dragon Ball movies. But anyways, uh, that's the kid that becomes Janemba. We also have King Yemma with uh, various facial expressions. There's Happy Yemma, and there's Concerned or Scared Yemma. And then, oh, hold on. Psyche. Is that the kid's name? That must be his name, Psyche. Yo, I did not know that. Well, there you go, guys. You learn something new every day. This guy's name is Psyche. So, there you have it. And then from there, we gotta have the Super Gogeta assets. Uh, these two are from the Unit Super Attack or Partner Super Attack animation with PyCon. And then obviously, these ones are uh, older ones from the uh, third year LR Gogeta. And then after that, we gotta have, you know, Janemba assets. Uh, I think these two are from the new TUR. This one, of course, is the STR120 lead. And uh, this is actually the TUR art for the new Dokkan Fest Janemba. And there's also some great Saiyaman story assets too. We also have a fat Janemba falling over. We have some other fat Janemba assets. Uh, this is him transforming, obviously. Um, not gonna lie, man, as much as I love Janemba, every single time I see that transformation scene, that active skill, it just grosses me out, man. It's, it's, it's kind of gross, let's be honest, but he's still cool. There we go, we got some more fat Janemba there. And what else? An Angel Vegeta, here is a Veku. I think this is the art for the free-to-play Veku that we can get from the story event. And then we have a Super Saiyan 3 Goku. We have a couple of Pycons as well. Um, yeah, so these two are the arts for the uh, new Dokkan Fest Pycon, the AGL one. And we have a Final Form Frieza and a couple of base Gokus. And I think that should do it for the story assets. There we go. Okay, yeah, so those are all the story assets we got from the data download. Now let's move on to some tickets. So this, of course, is an Extreme Z Dokkan Festival ticket for Extreme Z Dokkan Festival banner, which means that we are getting a new Extreme Z battle and a new Extreme Z Awakening. Now, you guys can probably assume who the uh, unit is that's getting the EZA given the theme of the celebration, but we'll talk about that in a second. We also have some Dokkan Festival tickets. Not a huge surprise. It's literally been, you know, a thing on Global for years now, right? So. We got Dokkan Festival A, Dokkan Festival B for, I'm gonna assume PyCon for A and uh, Janemba for B, respectively. And there's also the premium tickets, which are gonna be purchasable through the Pilaf's Trove. So if you 
I mean, if you are a pay-to-play player and you plan to summon on the banners, I would recommend actually getting these tickets first to see if you can maybe pull them without spending any stones because usually the packs are fairly decent value. I don't remember the exact prices, but you know, if you are pay-to-play, you might as well you know, save some stones and try to get them, you know, with the tickets through the Pilaf's Trove. And obviously these ones, the Dokkan Festival A and B, are from summoning on the banners. Um, are there going to be discounts? Not really sure, but I would guess that the first couple of multis are also discounted. So maybe it's like 30 stones, 35 stones, 40 stones, and then the free multi. And then after that, it would be 50 stones per multi, right? Most likely. We'll see. Um, from there, there is a new Oolong support item. Uh, what this does is, if I remember correctly, it gives all allies 20% attack for one turn and also increases your crit chance by 1% per key sphere obtained. And after that, we have the Extreme Z uh, Battle, Extreme Z Awakening Medals for the STR Janemba. So, yes, he is the unit that's getting the easy A, as I'm sure you guys. You know, we're also already aware of. Uh, there's the rainbow medals, there's the gold, silver, and bronze. Some more Extreme Z battle assets. The cut in for Janemba, there's the SSR Janemba, there's the logo or the icon for the Extreme Z battle events. And then we have the stages for the Fusion Reborn story event. So here is the Vaku medal to Dokken Awaken him. Here are some of the uh, maps, which. Uh, I mean, these two look exactly the same. Yeah, they, they look exactly the same, but this one's slightly different. Okay. And some other stages here for the same story event. Just gonna quickly go through these. And what else do we have? Okay, so this is the Dokkan event for the new PyCon. Obviously, his Dokkan Awakening Medal, and also the uh, Dokkan event stage. And then we have the new stage for the Janemba token event. There's the Awakening Medal, and there is the stage or the map, and some new categories led by the two new units respectively. We got Corroded Body and Mind, which is Janemba's new category. And we also have uh, Connected Hope, which is PyCon's new category. Neither of these categories are that great, if you ask me, but I guess it's cool that we're still getting more categories. I mean, I feel like I feel like it's getting a little arbitrary at this point, you know? Like, sometimes it feels like they're just making a category to have a new category, but it is what it is. It is what it is. And then we have the new AGL Beku assets. Um, he's the free-to-play one, of course, from the story event. We have the AGL PyCon assets uh, from, you know, one half of the Tuotokan vest. And then we have the other half of the Tuotokan vest, the Super Janemba, and also the Fat Janemba assets. And uh, that pretty much does it, guys, for all of the new assets we got. Now, the last thing I gotta show you is this movie that uh, I believe will play on April Fool's Day, so in about a day from now. Let me just quickly turn off my own music here so you guys can hear what's going on. But this is the, the, the preview for a new mode called Dokkan of the Dead. Obviously, it's not real. I really wish it was, but uh, it's pretty cool to see how much effort they put into this. So let me just turn up the volume slightly. And uh, yeah, let's check it out. So there you go. Um, if you guys were confused about the Saiyaman assets in the beginning, they were, you know, for this, 
for the Dokkan of the Dead mode. Unfortunately, as I said, it's not it's not a real thing. Um, I really wish it was. Uh, one of these days, man, Dokkan, yo, if they start running out of ideas, Bandai, Akatsuki, just make some of these modes real because they look awesome. Like last year, we had the kart racing thing. Like I would love a Dragon Ball kart racing mode. And, uh, you know, like this looks better. Like this, this fake mode, this Dokkan of the Dead mode looks better than like... 90% of the events in the game, you know, so I, I man, it I, I really wish it was real man like <laughs> Feels like Feels like a huge tease makes me really sad to be honest um, But but hey, yo, it, it, it's cool to see that they put a lot of thought into this. They put a lot of effort into this Dokkan of the dead Coming soon, but uh, that's it guys. That is everything that was added through the data download um, one weird thing actually is that, uh, oh, by the way, in terms of the release date for everything, it's gonna be April 1st, 2021 at 11.30 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, which is literally tomorrow night. And uh, there is one weird thing um, that you might have noticed, which is that the April Fool's Awakenings, Extreme Z Awakenings, as well as the April Fool's Unit were not included in the data download and uh, yeah, I'm not really sure why, but there should be another data download before the, um, you know, release of like PyCon and Janemba to uh, add that stuff into the database for global so it can be released um, because we are getting it. You know, some people think that we're not getting the April Fool stuff that JP's getting, but that's not true. We are definitely 100% getting that stuff too. So uh, yeah, I guess expect a second data download sometime within the next 24 hours. And the April Fool's unit for this year is this STR Bedell and Great Saiyan Man. Uh, I'll quickly go over their details for anybody that cares. Leader skill is Ally of Just Ally of Justice. Ally of Justice <laughs> category key plus two. HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage and lowers extreme class enemies attack and defense. And then passive is attack and defense plus 58% plus an additional Attack and defense plus 58% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack and defense plus 41% when attacking extreme class enemies. Chance of performing a critical hit, a critical hit plus 4% per ally of justice. Category ally on the team. And then ally of justice category allies key plus 3. Attack and defense and chance of performing a critical hit plus 18%. Links are Infighter, Courage, Patrol, Hero of Justice, Signature Pose, Tracking Speed and Shattering the Limit, and categories are Joint Forces, Movie Heroes, and Ally of Justice. So there you go, that is this year's um, April Fool's unit. Should be coming to both Global and JP at the same time, along with the Awakenings and Extreme Z Awakenings for the, uh, you know, Fizz Goku and AGL Vegeta. So there you go guys, that is going to do it for today's video, thank you so much for watching, hope you guys are at least mildly excited for the stuff to come, I know not a lot of people are that hyped for Janemba and PyCon, but uh, if you're one of those people, that's okay, it's a good opportunity to save your stones for the anniversary, so just think of it like that, and uh, we do have a couple of, you know, new events coming, so that should keep us occupied for a little bit of time. But uh, yeah, that is today's video. Shout out to Proton10MG on Twitter for posting the assets. And uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.